So here we have it, the uh, AX80 rack mount. I finally fitted the uh, AS3772, 3372E filters into the SEM3372 slots. They're actually underneath so you can't see them. They're under, underneath that board there, which is on upside down. That's the motherboard and no modifications made except adding the battery holder. And uh, then I've made the panel for the buttons and I've made the panel for the displays with OLED displays and um, some micro controllers reading in the signals. Uh, underneath is the analog board you can see through there which has the eight filters etc and all the decoding and DMUX. Simple RQ50C power supply. I'm probably going to upgrade that to an RQ65C when it arrives just to give it a bit more oomph because there's a lot of digital stuff going on now. Um, I've got a separate little 12 volt power supply which is managing the reset circuitry. It's a weird reset. You basically stick a, a voltage into a opto isolator and the other side of the opto isolator is triggered then and pulls the reset to the right position. Um, so that seems to work okay. And the rest of it was just basically making the ribbon cables and the uh, power cables etc and uh, testing them out um, and getting the displays to work properly I guess that took a long time to decode the actual signals but uh, I was pretty confident I could get it sorted eventually and that's the sound I can add some detune to that there's the detune value going right up Basically nothing. And if we go back to the banks, that's A, that's B17. Change the bank, the program change. B18. Presets, preset one is a piano sound. To be honest, I can't remember. I used to sell these in a music shop about 30 years ago and I still can't remember how poorly they sounded. They really do need some programming. But in general, I'm happy. So if this has cost me. Ooh, I'd say about um, 500, 600 euros, something like that, to build, to buy the, the two boards I bought, second hand off eBay in America, got them shipped over here, so obviously there's a bit of cost in that, and a little bit of import duty, uh, the displays, $50, including the uh, processors to go with them, this probably about another $50, $60, and uh, power supply, $30, and ribbon cable and my time really um, and that's about it it was actually a fairly simple build besides this display bit but we'll forget about that if you you don't actually actually build the displays you could just have it as a rat mount it still worked just as well but um, I don't know I like it for the aesthetics okay and that's about it hope you enjoy it I'm gonna put it in a rack now and uh, make a nice pretty front panel and hopefully publish another video when that's done